guys, this is Matt Skateboard coming your way today with an unboxing of a new phone. I returned my Samsung Eternity. The whole keyboard issue was a little bit too much for me. Um, so I got a phone with a full keyboard and I'll show it to you right now. It's the impression. Um, I was originally thinking the Xenon since it was cheaper and I liked the operating system, but once I tried it out at the AT&T store, it didn't really feel right. The keyboard was a little bit cramped. Um, and this way, my mom could also get one of these. Um, so in, and we also got two free 2 gig memory cards. Um, so in all, um, so the attorney, we paid 180 um, so twenty dollar restocking fee, so that's one fifty nine. Then two fifty for this, or two forty nine. So that's already ninety five, I think. Um, so yeah, ninety five, and then we get one free, and then after that, there's a fifty dollar rebate. So all right, let's unbox this. Let's go over the specs first. On the front, it says text, I am, messaging, I guess, and Bluetooth. This does have 3G, it just doesn't say it on here. It also has HSDPA G. Um, it also has a GPS chip, a real one, and geotagging. Um, let's go on the side for the contents. Um, phone, battery, wall charger, USB cable, user manual, quick start guide. Um, so yeah, this actually does come with a USB cable, I'm surprised. Um, so let's unbox this bad boy. Um, like the Eternity, it's also the, uh, slide-out tray. I guess Samsung is doing it that way. Um, okay, so here's the quick start disc or whatever. Quick start guide. And the phone right here, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Here's the uh, wall charger, you know, Samsung proprietary, just like the Eternity, A737 Propel. Uh, here's the USB cable. I'm actually surprised it came with this because this is a feature phone, it's not a smartphone. And the actual device itself. And the battery is right in here, it's sort of hidden. So, whoa. Whoops, sorry. Camera fell a little bit. <sighs> sorry about that. Um, so. Let's get this out here. <laughs> now it feels a little bit big, but it's a good heft. It's not like a bad one. And I know lots of you guys like this sound, so let's see if this is a good one. Uh, it's sort of soft. It's not that good. But, you know. So here's the device. And here's another one. We'll peel this off. Oh, whoops. I don't think I peeled it off all the way. Whatever. Um, there's one on the side. Just like the Eternity. Another one on this side. And then two more on the right side. Lots of protection. Oh, it's just one on this side. Um, so let's take the back out, I can put my SIM card in, and the battery, and I, th let's, yeah, alright, the battery, whoops, plastic stuff got on here, um, And just close it back up like that. And I'll start it up and tell you some of the specs right now. On the side, we have a lock button. It's really uh, tiny and soft, not a lot of heft. Dedicated camera key. 
volume rocker, uh, soft key, um, little lanyard loop thing. At the top we have the charger port, um, not un not unlike the xenon. Um, Samsung proprietary, like I said before. Um, I'm looking for the micro SD. I guess it's behind the battery. I just didn't see it. But we have to calibrate. See, this lock key is annoying me. It's really soft. Okay, so tap. Okay, so it obviously has the TouchWiz. Hold on, no SIM mode. I guess I didn't put it in right, but so open changes relatively quickly. And this also has 3.2 inch uh, resistive AMO LED um, screen. It's the first on any American carri uh, carrier. Um, it's just like a super bright low energy um, screen. On the front here we have the call and and clear and the touch was. Let's see what um, widgets they added over the eternity. Um, I think this is the favorite contacts if my memory. Yep. Um, that Yep, that's the contacts. Um, right to navigator. There's actually one right to browser, which is really useful. I like that. And one right to IM. What's this? Oh, no, an event. Um, so, uh, let's try out the keyboard. Go to the menu. Message. Uh, hey, guys. It's Matt's. Keyboard. I really like the feel of this keyboard. Um, it's really roomy, um, especially over the Xenon. They're sort of like a little bit rubbery, but in a good way, and they're sort of curved at the top, so uh, it gives you a nice feel. And I just realized I'm a little stupid. There's a messaging shortcut key right there. It takes you right to a new message. So that's really useful. Um, so I'm just going to go play with this. That was an unboxing. Um of the Samsung Impression. Uh, look for a review in the next couple weeks. I'm Matt Skateboard. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to me. Um, add me as a friend, whatever. Uh, once again, I'm Matt. Thanks for watching.